guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, we are here for painting number 15 in our series of 30 paintings in 30 days, our little painting studies. So as per usual, we've got our um, watercolor notebook. I've got some paints in front of me and a little small palette I've been mixing in, a bucket of water with some brushes in it that's really dirty and needs to be cleaned soon, um, and a booklet of inspiration photos and colors over off of that way. Um, you can get inspiration from anywhere. Of course, um, there's a lot of different places on the internet, not um, only um, Pinterest, but Pinterest is definitely a big one. Um, I take a lot of pictures with my phone wherever I go and I print them out with my mini printer and stick them in one of my inspiration books and then match them up with some paint colors like you see here. Um, I do have, I think there's one or two videos here on the YouTube channel on these and I will try to find it and link it in the description, but no guarantees. Um, so anyway, that's what our current booklet is open to, and we are going to do something inspired by the more co colorful side of that book. I'm going to start with my half inch flat as always, and I think I'm going to just go crazy and I'm going to grab some, um, core cobalt teal, which is just nuts. Very bright color, very pigmented. I'm going to put it on my palette sort of off to the edge. It's gonna mix a little bit with the gray color I have on here, but that's okay. I'm gonna add some water. Okay, we're gonna start with this. Holy cow, this is a bright, bright color. We're gonna put some down and then we're gonna add some water. Then I'm gonna actually grab some of the paint, do a couple splatters, okay. And then let's give it a dry. I dried most of it, but not all of it, that's intentional. And so let's see where we go from there. I am going to grab some green. I'm really liking this um, Jane, Davenport, Jane Davenport Water Spirit, but I think to start with, I'm gonna grab Mermaid, which is a uh, bluish green. And we're going to map out some shapes here. Some of these pictures were taken in Seattle. They have this display of these large metal flowery sh flowers. I think they're supposed to represent flowers. We're using them just as sort of inspiration for what we're going to do here. I'm going to blur out some of my pigment. Okay. I'm going to switch to the round number four brush. And that water spirit green, which I really looks like cascade green. Let me add that to our shapes. And then grab some water, blur it out again a little bit. Okay, give it a dry. Okay, because I know the Jane Davenport colors that are in this palette are fairly opaque, I'm gonna go ahead and add some dark highlights to the base of what is gonna be these flowery, suggestive flowery shapes before we do the petals. Um, and I'm gonna go in with a wild and crazy color purple. So I love to use um, unusual colors for my um, shadows and light uh, to suggest shadows. Um, purple is a gray one, green, um, dark blues rather than black. And for light, uh, yellow, orange, pink instead of white. Um, so we're gonna grab some purple. This is actually purple.
Okay, we're gonna just put a, like we did with the green, we're gonna just put a little bit and then go back with some water. Okay, I like the way that is looking. So now we're gonna dry it again. Okay, we're gonna stick with our number four brush around number four and we're gonna go in with Frida. I like this Frida red color that's in this palette. And let's see. Now the paint's a little bit on the dry side so I'm getting these sort of brush strokes that kind of really show the um, hairs of the brush. But you know what? I think it works for what I'm trying to achieve. I like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna not fix that and add water. We're gonna let that go. Let it dry just a little bit before we do go back and add any water and that way we won't lose all those brush strokes. The little hair marks. Okay, we're gonna go in with Best Friend, which is a bright, much brighter pink color. Barely touching the paint to the, I'm sorry, the brush to the paper. So we get just interesting marks. Again, the paint is fairly dry. I am gonna add a little bit of more water to it. There we go. Okay, and because this paint dries fairly quickly, I don't know that I need to take the dryer to it again because parts of that red color are already dry, uh, believe it or not. So I'm gonna go in with some of the Holbein Permanent Yellow Orange and my teeny tiny brush. I'm gonna just make some dots that sort of look like the center of the flower. This was it called the stamen. Oh yeah, I like the way this turned out. Holy cow, I might need to do this one again. All right, now let's give it a dry. All right, let's see. I got a little messy with the paint, but that's okay. Again, these are just little studies, so they're not meant to be perfect, but that is super cute, and I might need to, at the very least, scan this one. I am thinking I might scan most of these and put them up as a bundle in the Etsy shop. But holy cow, do y'all see that? That's cute. So that is painting number 15 on to the next. Through, through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye guys.